bitch had it all, so let me tell me you ready And shit, I really be saying, oh, but I go down with head red So say that what I'm saying, oh Yo, YouTube it's your boy DFA guys are back in this spot to make it too fucking hot man big DFA man and I'm hearing Drizzy Drake dropped a dance <laughs> but I'm hearing not only did he diss Kendrick he dissing other niggas nah I need to see it now all of it make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe man we're almost on our way to 1000 subs we're going crazy man Come on, don't fuck around, DFA. All right, let me see. Let me let me see what's on Twitter. Wait, is this hit? Is this it right here? Oh, chill. Drake's this track against Kendrick Lamar, Future, Metro, Boomin, Rick Ross, The Weeknd, and more. Look, I could never be wait, wait, wait. This is it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Drake said, how you big stepping with a size seven men's on? I just did my research and that's really Kendrick Lamar's shoe size. How he know that? Let me chill before I scroll too far, boy. All right, so I feel like I should probably look at lyrics while also listening to the shit, right? All right, but Where is it? Is it this one? Or this one. I'm gonna do this one. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? So, as I was reading in the comment section, it sounds like that was for Kendrick Lamar. But I want to know, how the fuck did he know that? Just the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push-ups. Cool, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. The last one brick, who he talking about? <laughs> Baby, hope for red, you been shook up Cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push-ups Cool, your last one brick You really not on shit They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip Who doing splits? Yo, who doing splits? Yo, who he talking about, gang? Nah, I fell out the loop Better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak, pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. <laughs> Yo, he's wildin'. Yo, he's wildin'. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you fun, nigga. Yeah. Let your shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. <laughs> No, 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 Metro, shut your ass up and make some drums, nigga. In a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Trickin'? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Yeah. Who are you talking about? 
Nah, who? Flowing able bread out here tricking. Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. That's that sounds like a gay a gay allegation, no? It's whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got them done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. That was sassy as fuck. That shit'll probably change if it's BM, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney, Top say drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Midget. He's five five. Yeah, this nigga small as hell. Yo. Drop and give me fifty. Drop and give me fifty. Drop and give me fifty. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm fifty. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take it latest girl a cuffer like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning fifty. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spend that little check you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad. Hooper that be busting out the gritty. Is that um John Morant? That's John Morant, right? Yeah. Yeah, nigga, I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs dropping. Give me fifty drop. drop. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. Begging Casa not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Begging Casa not, boy, you not. Yo. What the yo? Who is he talking about? Begging Casa now, boy, you not fucking beating us, boy. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What you smoking on, Kendrick? Yo, yeah. yo, I know this. Nah, I already know this nigga. Academics got his reaction out. This nigga over here creaming in his pants. This nigga got on a Drake song. Drop a fifty bag twenty nine for the spot. Oh, really, really trying to keep it PG. that's it. No, that shit was tough. What we teaming up? Lyrics from demo. Then I say it. Oh my god. That nigga came for heads. But how was uh, where was the um where was the fucking recross this? Am I am I not reading? I was definitely listening. This shit went crazy, boy. He he had to have leaked it himself. Let me see what's up. Nigga said Drake to Kendrick, you're too small. <laughs> oh shit. Hope it's fake. I hate leaks. Nigga said I hate leaks. Shut up, bitch. Shit probably not even gonna drop. Look at this goofy. Yo, this nigga is five feet, bro. Wait, did niggas think this was like a Nah, I might use this. <laughs> Yo, I might use this. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I got too many thumbnails for this, bro. Oh my god, that nigga is fucking comedy, bro. Let me let me see what let me see what academics talk about this. Academics. Drop and give me fifty, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What you smoking on, Kendrick? Nigga on a Drake song. Nigga just niggas in all. He's. A, Oh my god. Oh my god. My dream has come true. Come on, act. Yo, this nigga got me weak. Wait, I don't do I look crazy. I was right. I was right. Yo, I said all this shit blindly because I know my favorite artist. That nigga Kendrick. I've heard that nigga smoking on your top five. <laughs> that nigga was on crack when he said that shit. 
Yeah. One more time. Yeah. I ain't gonna cut it off. One more time. Holy. Yeah. What yeah. time are you smoking on Kendrick? Kendrick, he's begging you to drop. The pussy shenanigans is over. The <laughs> bait and switch. The bluffer Olympics is done. Drop your fucking four-year-old song that you could get demolished. Thank God the nigga. Yo, is this what Drake had to do to make y'all favorite rapper rap? He had to diss 20 niggas and then Yo. harmonize at the end of the track. Drop. Just drop. Drop. I'm ready. He's squaring up. It's squabble time. He's begging Kendrick to drop. They can say he's The begging. double dutcher. The back peddler. Drop. Drop a 50 badge. Kendrick, you're on the clock, gang. Holy shit. Hey, hey, real talk. Nigga, why is he doing that if it's not even like an actual song? He's moving like he's going to get copyrighted or some shit. I don't know. What else niggas is saying? Fire. So far, it just sounded like those shots were to Metro and Kendrick. How is this towards... How is this towards Rick Ross? I'm very confused. Oh, or was the Rick Ross... The Rick Ross one about, like, his uh, tricking or some shit? Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy. Worry about whatever going on and you... Oh, shit. I don't know, man. Ew, ew, brother. Ew, ew, brother. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I fish you jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas. There's no way Drake has. Drake and Brett Cross have beef, bro. Getting money, you're ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you T.I. Lee. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, spread through the yard, and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field, go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free, do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. I don't know, bro. I'm listening, bro. That shit did not sound like a diss just now. I don't know. White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really? Woody? Like his moves. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Weezy gave you the truth. All I heard that really sounded like a diss was that ghostwriting shit because, you know... A lot of niggas be saying Drake be ghost right here. Another white boy at the park wanna hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like died denim. White boy, Drake is biracial. Get incentives for all the killings. I fish you jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the ch his record label is taking on laws. Chart, don't make me laugh. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. I don't know, man. Hmm. I don't know. Niggas said he's getting bodied. How did Rick Ross body this nigga? What? Flag unnecessary dick riding. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? What are you talking about? Bodied? I bro, I literally listened to this whole thing, bro. He didn't body nothing. If he recorded, if he if that's actually real and he just recorded that, then shit, he tough. But like he ain't body him. Like I said, this was eyes. I really think he can beat the goat of music. Up. Oh. Oh, here go the web demons. Quentin Miller Associates CJ Franchise.
five ghostwriting for Kendrick Lamar. This is his demo. I'd say this is a collab, but his name isn't on the credits. Oh shit. Nah. This nigga got ghostwriters. Niggas is not rappers for real. Niggas not rappers for real, gang. Shit crazy, mud. Hey man. Niggas cannot compete with Drake, bro. Wait, actually, let's read, because I actually wasn't even reading this shit, bro. I didn't realize that they was actually giving intel on, like, the lyrics itself. All right, so first off is, I could never be a nobody, number one. All right, so first off is, I could never be nobody, number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put him in your hand. Oh, my God. Drake responds to Future. You seem to go after Drake on you don't trust you the title track you a nigga number one fan dog snake DC I don't understand dog pillow talking acting like a fed dog Drake claps back by insisting that he was the one who called <laughs> ah, this is timing bro oh my god Nah, Drake is on timing, bro. Where the fuck do I put myself, bro? Put myself right here. All right, valid. You won't ever take no chain from us. Directly response to Kendrick Lamar, who threatened to snatch his chain. Oh, yeah, I heard that. I heard that. He definitely said he's going to snatch his chain. Makes a punchline from Mr. Moran, the big steppers. Yo, is that Kendrick? Yo. This nigga is small as fuck. J. Cole attack Kendrick on the track this district. Your one your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Let me see this. Drake goes after Kendrick Lamar's album, stating that it did not do well in the long run. <laughs> it definitely didn't, because I did not hear that shit at all, nigga. All right, what this man? You ain't no big three. This is this is another on Drake's uh, track. First, X cracks the goal of the music industry in between him, Drake, and Kendrick. Is it K Dot? Is it Ubri or me? The big three, like we started the league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali and she's like that. Clap back at the both calling for all the doors. Bro. Being the worst Drake album ever. Yeah, uh, get up with me. Fuck, sneak this in first picture. Mm. Drake states the fellas on 21 Savage have all wiped out Kendrick, like alluding to Billboard placements. I mean, ain't nothing new. Nigga said, what the fuck is this? A 20v1? Drake, along with fans, has realized one sided the beef has been. The Metro booming, getting numerous rappers on his side who all have some sort of itch to the Drake. So shut your ass up. Make some drums, nigga. Okay. Where's the one with, where's the one with Ricky? Oh, it's right here. Ricky Rose. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy. Spend that little check you got and stay up up my business. Nigga said little check. Yo, who's Richard? Yo, chat, who's Richard? Drake or Ricky Rose? This is a jab to a Drake Ross who unfollowed Drake on IG soon as Metro Boomin and Future Drive. We don't trust you. What? Nah, Rick Ross, you a bitch. Nah, this nigga's a bitch. I didn't even know that. Other than that, Rick Ross posted an IG story of him listening to Kendrick's diss. Oh, nah, that nigga fool. Nah, he's fool. I want to know who, yo, this ball right here. Niggas don't know. Yeah, niggas don't know. Maybe a diss to Kanye after Kai. And, mm, nah, but they, they, they just clit shit up, though, no? Him and, him and Kanye? Ain't no way. He would not bring, he, he wouldn't bring him out. Niggas really got me out here like I'm 50. Salon is a response calling Drake old. 
Drake is saying that he is not old and that he is still able to make good music. They got Drake talking tough. Talk like 50 Cent is famous for. Okay. That, that's pretty much it, though. Niggas, niggas, niggas heard the, bro. He jabbed at Kendrick like five times. Bro, it's, bro, it's over. Kendrick, he cooked you. You're cooked. You're cooked, gang. Future, go say something, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You better do the motherfucking show inside of Betty Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make a make it witty than we need a verse for the Swifties. Drake clowns Kendrick Lamar for catering to the mainstream by making reference to his features on Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Pops X Fine, respectively in his nickname of former fan base. Wow. Praise is important to point out Cedric is widely considered to be a savior of real hip hop while Drake's music has been criticized for prioritizing mainstream appeal over quality. Alright, what about the 50, 50, uh, give me 50 push-ups? Let me see what that actually meant. He said, give me 50 push-ups, nigga. This for all the top dogs dropping, give me 50. Drake is likely referencing Top Dog Entertainment, a record label that Kendrick Lamar has was signed to. Okay. What that mean though? Hmm. What does that actually mean? Drake clarifies that the shots thrown at him and J. Cole by Dot and Kendrick Lamar were not the impetus of their beef. This gives credence to the history of subliminal shots between Drake and Lamar, tracing all the way back to 2013. Damn, I wanted to know. Man, I ain't shit, man. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that nigga said drop and give me 50 because... Kendrick Lamar's old label used to put that nigga on the life. I said life. I was about to say life 360. Put that nigga on the 360 label, so that nigga got like that nigga's getting taken like 50. percent <laughs> So all his hits was basically like he wasn't even owning half of that, bro. It's just 50, percent bro. Shit. I don't know, man. That shit getting heavy, man. Oh, okay. So yeah, look. As I as I was saying. <clears throat> Pull your tr pull your contract out, cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, you might. <laughs> what he said? Way you doing splits, bitch? Your pants might rip on some SpongeBob shit. In, th <laughs> in 2022, it was rumored Drake signed to Universal Music Group for 500 million. Damn. While it's being able to keep all his masters. Oh, now nah, he's a T's top movie. Drake has seemingly confirmed this record deal in his song's major distribution, 500 million just for free. Drake states that other artists do not have the same freedom and privileges, making him curious to see their contracts, to see how much their splits are. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm hearing that uh, Kendrick label just well, had him on a 360 as big as he is and just... Basically, every head that he has was just a 50-50 split. Just, nigga got the same contract as me. Shit crazy. And I'm just a streamer. Shit. I don't know. Wait. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing the bell bread out here tricking. Out here tricking, tricking? Shit, we do for bitches. He doing for niggas. What the fuck? Drake goes after Cash XO, who is the weekend's manager, stating that he is giving out high amounts of weekend's money to men in the form of tricking, which describes when high value men fly women out and buy them extravagant gifts in exchange for sex. So this nigga doing the ditty. Okay. Drake also goes after the weekend referring referring to the amount of features that The Weeknd gave Future and Metro Boomin, We Don't Trust You and We Still Don't Trust You. Across the two albums, The Weeknd is featured on Young Metro. So Drake states with the amount of features The Weeknd has given to the Future and Metro 
He's generating a high amount of money for cash. Future and Metro Boomin as the tracks will likely gain high traction due to his featuring. Mm. Them niggas need a weekend to, for that shit to even go crazy. Imagine. So basically, the weekend's manager is gay. <laughs> okay. And then I saw um some shit about the... Yeah, I remember the shit about John Moran, right? All right, so basically he was like, hey, shout out to the... Wait, hold on. Matter of fact. All right, so let's look. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this... I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. Ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for the bitches. Oh my God. So basically, Drake talks about known Memphis NBA player, John Moran, known for doing a dance named the gritty. And known for being suspended multiple times for a gun showcasing. Like a fucking loser. The reason John... Ja Wait. Res John Moran responded to Metro Boomin's tweet regarding his, his and Future's new album, We Still Don't Trust You, which was a full subliminal at Drake supporting the album. Stay on that side. The reason Morant may have sided with Metro is that Drake was rumored to have... Gone on a date with John Moran's ex girlfriend, Brooklyn Nicole. When the fuck did he back Brooklyn? However, Drake makes fun of John for being heartbroken, running his mouth on Twitter. He was doing that? He had the Twitter fingers because of Drake bagged his bitch. Let's look at let's look at Brooklyn Nicole. Oh my god. She is bad. Like, yo, how is she like related to Mulatto, she looks nothing like her, bro. Like Mulatto, literally, like is she like are, is she sisters from like a different like father or something? Cause she actually looks black, whereas Mulatto is biracial. She literally just looks black. I don't know. She fire though. Yo, how old is her? Think said how old is her? Nice English. How old is she? I'm older than her. Yo, Drake, you're thirty seven. 37, 21, he fucked, undoubtedly. Yeah, Jamar, yeah, your jaw, you're cooked. What else did I miss? What else did I miss? Oh, oh, yeah, I just remembered. The very first bar, the very first bar in the verse, I could never be nobody's number one fan. Your first number one, I had put it in your hand. This is a fucking diss to future. Who seemed to go after Drake on We Don't Trust You. The title track of this shit was where he rapped. You a nigga. You a nigga number one fan. Dog sneak this in. I don't understand. Dog pillow took it. Acting like a fed. Dog I don't need another fake friend. Dog can't be a. Dog can't be by a hoe. Because we sharing. Dog in your feelings. Nigga why you playing. Drake claps back by insisting that he was the one who granted Future his first song to chart number one. Shit. Which is true. Drake's way too sexy from 2021 project, Certified Lover Boy. Yo, I actually don't even remember how that shit goes. Was the first song featuring Future's top Billboard 101. That's said 101, 100. <laughs> Damn, nigga said that's true. <laughs> nah, genius is crazy. This also invokes Drake's reputation as one of the most commercially influential future artists in popular music history, as he's helped elevate 33 artists to their highest charting position in 2010s, giving six artists their first song chart number one. Yo, this nigga Drake is y'all father. Bro, there's no way niggas is really beefing with this nigga on some 20v1. And y'all niggas, half y'all niggas was made by this nigga. 33? Nigga. How? Yo. 33? In the same vein, Drake later insists that he was the sole reason Rick Ross charted in the same prime of his career. Can't even be 
Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got it from Drizzy. That shit didn't even Brom, though. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. I, I guess, like, like I, I suppose he was trying to rhyme Drizzy with 50. Every song that made it on the chart, he got it from Drizzy. Nigga, nigga Drake called Kendrick a fucking pipsqueak. So, yeah, he was just throwing, he was just throwing shots, bro. Throwing shots with a fucking switch. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. When first person shooter Drake tied Michael Jackson's record as the male solo artist with the most number ones on Billboard Hot 100 chart. The same song, Drake compares himself to Michael Jackson with the following lyrics. Niggas talking about when this gonna be repeated. What the fuck, bro? I'm one away from Michael, nigga beat it, nigga beat it, nigga. And this line, he is drawing the same comparison, but points out that Michael Jackson back then was peaceful and did not diss nor involve himself in beef. But the new Mike, or in this case, Drake, is ready for war. <laughs> Yo, I, I get it now, I get it now. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Is Drake Michael Jackson of right now? Nigga said, what is a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Jake, I said Jake. I bit my tongue, my fault. Drake references his, his and Kendrick Lamar's prior comparisons to two megastars being Michael Jackson and Prince. Drake had previously compared himself to Michael Jackson on First Person Shooter where he... Re okay, okay, okay. In a similar fashion, Kendrick l likened himself to Prince on Mask Off. For real? I don't listen to Kendrick, so I wouldn't know. She said she broke down when Prince died. It's all right. Bitch, my head down. Prince looked through me. I am Prince. Drake then acknowledges Kendrick Lamar's bar from Future and Metro Boomin like that from just three weeks prior when Kendrick raps. Your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlives Mike Jack. Nigga, bum. What? Your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlives Mike Jack. I heard that, but I didn't. I wasn't really listening for real. Kendrick is saying that Prince, who passed away in 20, 2016, outlived Michael Jackson, who passed away in 2009, implying that Jake will never live as long as him. That, that's such a weak ass bar. That's weak, though, because you're making it seem as if, oh, Prince is better because he stayed alive longer. Nigga, what? Bro, the nigga, bro. Kendrick is so ass. That was so ass. What? Bro, you're so ass, bro. That didn't even make no... F like, it made sense, but that shit was fucking whack, nigga. Fucking... Mm -hmm. You're so basura. You're so basura for that. Like, what? Drake claps back at this comment by referencing... Oh, I keep saying referencing. By referring to himself as King, as Michael Jackson's nickname was King of Pop, which he is, and Kendrick Lamar as Prince, given Lamar's prior comparisons to Prince. Drake points out that a king being the father of a prince has more power than his son, essentially calling Kendrick his bitch. <laughs> oh my god, this nigga Drake is so fire, bro. Pause, but like, for me, no ditty. Like, bro, the nigga said, nigga really thought he, yo, bro, nigga said your best work was a light pack, nigga, Prince, I live Mike Jack. Nigga, what is a prince to a king? He a son, nigga the fuck oh my god nigga said what the fuck is a prince to a king nigga you a son you my you're my underling nigga you a bitch <laughs> oh my yo you know what's crazy bro kendrick cannot say nothing after this bro you literally call your bro you really you literally said prince lives through you nigga a prince is not greater than a king michael jackson was the king of all y'all niggas Like, oh my God, bro. He got him not, he, he got him right there. I ain't gonna lie. All right, man, that looked like that's about it. I can't find nothing else, man. Yo, that was, that shit was kind of tough, though. I feel like we need to listen to more, though. For me, he is talking, though. And he is asking that bitch ass nigga Kendrick Lamar to go speak up. Cause, you know, his little means, well, I, who's older? I think Drake's older than J. Cole. Nigga J. Cole over here dropping a fucking EP. And then saying, oh, man, I want to apologize, man. If he disses back, he disses back, man. Shut your bitch ass up. Yo, Drake, make these niggas drop, man.
This nigga's a bitch. Ain't he 5'5"? Five five? Yo, you 5'5", five five, gang? Bro, drop your music, bro. Doing a whole lot of chattery, bro. But yeah, man. That shit was kind of tough, though. Y'all let me know. Thought it was none, got none for free. So you ain't getting none from me. I'm married to Dunham, do you for the fee? In the trash bar, pushing the pee. In the floor, see, dropping the G. 100 o'clock TP, geek on the beat. Yeah, look. Those who don't hear this fam. I'm a son.